CDC says 70% of adults will likely experience back pain at some point in their life, but there might be a few hacks that could help. Mm -hmm. This morning, Dr. Sheetal Dakaria joins us via Zoom from Chicago with tips to eliminate your back pain. How are you doing? Doing well. How are you? Pretty good. Nice to see you again. Oh, Me these too. are going to be good. Everyone take notes because I'm sure at one time or others, we've had back pain and back issues. Oof. Absolutely. So the interesting thing about back pain is that 80 to 85 percent of the time, it's actually not due to a structural thing like a fracture or herniated disc or trauma, but it's actually due to what we call non-specific low back pain. So usually like a muscle or ligament type of issue. Okay. Now in this case, it's going to get better with doing conservative things like what we're going to talk about today. All right. So you got some hacks, and I love that. Save us some money. Show us some yes. things we can use at the house to work on our backs because it's not. Sometimes we wait till it's too late mm -hmm. and then we do the exercises versus the other way around, right? Absolutely. So the first thing is just applying heat. Most of the time, if it is due to a muscle, it's going to respond to just some heat. Now, what I like to do is a homemade heating pad. You just okay. take a tube sock, you actually fill it with rice, and then you just sew off the end. You can throw it in the microwave for about 30 to 45 seconds. Use it on your neck, use it on your low back. If you want to be a little fancier, you can uh, use some nice fabric, put some essential oil in as well, and it works really nicely. Well, what were you using inside? A few drops of essential oil, and yeah. then when you put it in the microwave, it releases some of that that smell too. No, but what was in it? It was rice. So rice? You said rice. rice. Okay. Rice. Brown rice? Yes. Any rice. Organic. Any rice works. Jasmine. Yeah. No, <laughs> Whatever the cheapest rice you can find. There you go. There you go. All right. So support cushions. Yeah, so many of us now are working from home and we are not sitting in a great position for our back pain. Mm -hmm. um, what we need to keep in mind is that a small lumbar support pillow, something really simple you can find around the house, just put it in the small of your back behind your chair and it provides that little extra support. Things like a couch is not a great place to be spending a long period of time sitting. So something like a dining room chair with a nice support cushion is really good for your back. Okay, and a massager. I have spent a lot of money on testing different massage devices and myofascial release devices over the years, mm -hmm. but I always go back to just a tennis ball. I think it's a really good consistency. You can use it yourself to release knots in kind of your upper back or lower back. You take the tennis ball, put it between you and a wall, and then you just kind of move around yeah. to find that sore yeah. spot. Sink into that sore spot for about 60 seconds, and then you should release that tension. You may need to do it several times a day, um, but that way it doesn't turn into like a cycle of a lot of pain, and you can try to break that muscle spasm before it gets too bad. I swear by that. Yeah, I yeah, use a yeah, yeah, I use a lacrosse ball, but either way, it, yeah. oh my goodness, can yeah. we go it works Davey. wonders. Can we go, Davey? Yeah. about that. Yeah. Okay, movement and strengthen. Yes, so again, back to the we're sitting more than we should be sitting. And I think sitting in many ways is the new smoking. So what we need to do is keep in mind that throughout the day, try to stand up. After about 15, 20 minutes, just change your position. But if you can't, um, an important thing to keep in mind is the muscles that we are not using during the day are our upper shoulder muscles, our scapular muscles in the upper back, and our gluteal muscles, our sitting muscles. So those are muscles we really want to work out. A few really simple exercises that I really like is one is the scapular squeeze. So think about your shoulder blades. You're gonna pull, pull them back towards each other and hold that position for five seconds. You're gonna repeat it between five to 10 times. That's gonna strengthen those muscles that we are not using as we're hunched over our computers all day. And then on my website, I have um, some exercises also for the lower legs, but things to keep in mind are clamshells, bridge exercises. These are pretty common exercises for those gluteal sitting muscles to keep those strong as well. All right, 10 seconds for proper mattress and pillow. We spend so much of our day sleeping, so very important to think about the kind of position that you're in and how you're sleeping. So it's hard to say for sure what type of pillow is best for everyone, but what to keep in mind is that you want, if you're a back sleeper, you want to sleep on something that's a little bit flatter, and you want to think about keeping your neck neutral. So if you're a side sleeper, something with a little bit more support, and then as far as mattresses goes, again, it's not a one size fits all. For some people, it's gonna be more firm. For others, maybe a medium. Okay. But the idea is again, that as you're sleeping, you're not sinking too much into the mattress. So it's not too soft, but it's not so firm that it's not allowing you to have the natural curve of your spine. And again, you're in that position for so long. So it takes a little trial and error to find the best sleeping position and mattress and pillow for you. All right, that's the name of her book, Break the Chronic Pain Cycle. It's uh, drdakaria.com. Thanks so much. Thank you. Nice to see you again. You're welcome.
You too. Take care. I, so I start, I always start sleeping on my back. Yeah. I always shift at some point, but yeah. sometimes I will just ditch the pillow and just lay straight on my back without a pillow yeah. on my mattress yeah. and sleep that way. Yeah. Well, you have good posture too. I do not. Yeah. Well, maybe you should ditch your pillow. 